Hello, beautiful people. Welcome once again to Abinasia's Recipes. Thank you so much for tuning in. In today's video, I share with you Ghana Palm Nut Soup, and it is also called Banga Soup in Nigeria. I'll introduce my ingredients as I cook. I have here turkey berries, which I'll bring to a boil. Turkey berries are pea eggplant, and it is really good for us. In the blender, guys, I'm adding onion, garlic, habanero pepper, and ginger, and then I'll add anise seed. I'll add a bit of water, and then I will blend. I'll be using this blend to steam my meat. In the pot, I have partially cooked cow skin and cow feet, and then I'll go ahead and add my blended vegetables. I'll add a tablespoon of salt and a tablespoon of beef bouillon, and then I'll give it a stir. Once that is stirred, I'll go ahead and cover to let it steam between 5 and 10 minutes and I'll be stirring periodically. And guys, I introduced to you the main ingredients for the soup, palm cream with herbs. You can find this at the African markets. Yes, guys. All right. So I'm going ahead to add hot water to my palm cream and then I'll mix it and set it on the side. My turkey berries has boiled for about 10 minutes. So I'll go ahead and put it in the blender. And whilst that's blending, I'll then go ahead and add in my blue crabs. Yes, there is no Ghana palm nut soup without blue crabs. And then I'll add in my Kobe, also called salted tilapia or salted fish. I'll cover to let that steam for about five minutes. My turkey berries is done blending, so I'll go ahead and strain it into the soup. Yes, it does have a lot of shafts. And you don't want that in the soup so i'm using a silicone spoon to uh, press on it in a strainer and then i'll add some hot water just to extract more of the goodness out of the turkey berries all right guys so that is done and then i'll go ahead and put in my vegetables i have one red onion two heirloom tomatoes heirloom tomatoes are organic tomatoes and then i've added one habanero pepper I'll go ahead and put in my palm cream sauce in the soup and then I'll use hot water to rinse my bowl. I recommend you use hot water when making palm nut soup, all right? And then I'll keep rinsing until my bowl is very well rinsed and then I will add the remaining of the hot water inside the soup. I'll give everything a mix and before I add any more water, I'll be adding in my catfish, my Aden fruit, and my herrings. Yes, all of these are recommended to use when you're making palm nut soup. Aden fruit is also very healthy for us. And then my catfish go in. So I won't be breaking my catfish because the catfish is gonna be broken in the soup anyway when the soup begins to boil. And I went ahead to add the remaining of the hot water and I'm adding more water. And I'll be boiling my soup until the vegetables in the soup is very well cooked and that should take about 10 to 15 minutes. And whilst the soup was boiling, I went ahead to add my oyster mushrooms. Now it's about time I remove my vegetables out of the soup. It is well cooked now, so I'll then go ahead and blend it. And before I add my blended vegetables, I will be adding my snails. There is no Ghana palm nut soup without snails, guys. Ooh, it gives it so much flavor and it is delicious in a palm nut soup. All right, guys, so I'm going ahead to add my blended vegetables. I rinsed my blender and then I've added the water back inside the soup. Now over here, guys, I have broiled meat and fish. I have smoked turkey, goat meat, some beef, and I have mackerel. I broiled my meat at a low broil for 30 to 40 minutes. And then I have three Maggi cube here, which I will be breaking into the soup. Yes, guys, the Maggi cube also gives it that delicious flavor. Now that everything has been added to the soup, I will leave my soup to boil for another 15 to 20 minutes. And my palm nut soup should be almost ready. And guys, I would like to thank each and every one of you for your support. Thank you for subscribing. We've made it to 300 subscribers. I really appreciate each and every one of you. God bless you. And if you're new, 
subscriber, a warm welcome to you. Thank you so much for subscribing. And guys, my soup is done. When oil settles on top, that indicates that your soup is perfectly cooked. I'll go ahead and scoop the essence oil that is on top of the soup. And guess what? This oil is palm oil and I can use this to make another dish. And I paired my palm nut soup with fufu. That is what a typical Ghanaian will enjoy this soup with. But you can enjoy this with sticky rice or rice ball. You can enjoy this with just a simple white rice or even potatoes. Any starch of choice. Yes, I want to thank you guys so much. Please like, comment, hit that notification bell. So anytime I upload, you will be notified. Thank you. God bless you. Please stay safe. Bye, guys.